Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to make it so when you reach a certain distance travelled, it will do something. So in a previous episode, I went over actually calculating the distance travelled, which you'll need to go watch that if you haven't seen it already. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. So essentially, I'll go over it. You can see in the top left, we have distance travelled, and underneath that, you can now see how far we have travelled out of a certain thing. You don't need that if you don't want, but I've just done it there to show you as an example and once we reach that limit, something will happen. In my case, it's just going to say completed and then increase the amount needed by 25%. So again, I'm going to show you how to do all this where you can customize it to get it perfect for you and you don't even need to put it on screen if you don't want. But that's the example I'm going to be making. So this is what we'll make today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So what we want to do first is we want to open up our character blueprint so where we did the code previously. So for me, that's the third person character here. And you can see I have this code here for adding the distance, calculating how far the player has traveled. And just underneath this, what we're gonna do is right click and add a custom event. And I'm gonna name this one, check distance. And then I'm gonna add two inputs on here. So we're gonna call this whenever we want to check our distance traveled. I'm gonna add a new parameter here in the top right of the input section after selecting the custom event. I'm gonna name this one distance reached so how far the player has currently traveled i'm going to change that from a boolean to a float because obviously our distance traveled is also a float and then we're going to add another input naming this one distance required so how far we need to travel in order to get this achievement or whatever you want to call it again making sure that is a float and we compile and save that and so what we want to do is we want to check to see if we have reached the required distance so an easy way to do that is come out of distance reached and we want to get a greater than or equal to. So if float is greater than or equal to a float, connecting the bottom value into the distance reached there. And I'm just gonna strain that up. And so now it's gonna to check to see if our distance reached is greater than or equal to the distance required. And to check it, I'm gonna hold down B and left click to get a branch, the condition going in there, the execution also going in there like so. So now it is going to check that, returning true or false, dependent on if it is true or false or not. So after this, I'm going to hold down O and left click to get a do once, connecting that into the true and the reset into the false. Because we only want to fire off the code once. So what we want to happen, we want it to happen once. And to reset it is essentially when we then increase the distance required. Because when we increase the distance required, this will now return false instead of true. So I'll reset the do once for when we then achieve it again. So it goes back to true. So I hope that makes sense. So now essentially off of the completed of this code, is when you just do whatever you want. So this is what you want to happen when you reach that certain distance. So again, for me, I'm just gonna increase the distance required by 25% and then also just print a string saying completed. So what I'm gonna do is hit a plus variable here, naming this one distance required, the same as we have in the custom event there. Again, also making that a float. We compile that. Now I'm going to get this, so get distance required, and then multiply that, so float multiplied by a float, and I'm going to multiply it by 1.25, so it's increasing by 25%. And then that will just go into a set distance required. So again, you don't need to do that, that's just what I'm doing in this example of something to do once we reach the limit of what we want. And again, print string, just saying completed. This is only for development, just so I know that it's working. So we can compile, save, and that is the custom event set up for checking a distance and firing off the code for what we want. And again, you can of course make your own custom event for the actual code you want to fire off and just call that off the completed there. What I'm gonna do now is go back up to the add distance custom event here. And at the very end where we've got the loop, what I'm gonna do is call function check distance, the custom event we just made. Distance reached is obviously how far we've already traveled. So we can get distance traveled there, and we can just connect it straight in. But as I mentioned previously, this is in centimeters. I want it to just be in meters. So what I'm gonna do is come out of this and get a float divided by a float, dividing it by 100, connecting that in there like so. So now this is in meters going straight in there. And the distance required, we can just connect that straight in there from the float we made earlier. So if you didn't make it, you can. So you can right click, promote to variable, and then we can select distance required floats we just made and set that to be what we want. Now again, I'm gonna be doing this in meters as I've converted that to meters there. 
So let's say 100 meters. So we can compile and save that. So we need to get to 100 meters and obviously this will then increase by 25%. And again, you can customize this to do absolutely whatever you like. You don't even need to do that here. What you can do is instead maybe have it so when the player presses one or when the player tries to get something in an inventory system or in a shop. So let's go with the shop example, yeah. So if they're in a shop, they wanna unlock something. When they press a button, you'd call this custom event checking to see how far they have traveled with the distance required which will go into here and then obviously uh, this code will unlock it or do whatever you want so i hope that makes sense and so now what i'm going to do is this is it done but again i just want to display this on screen just to make it a bit easier for us and again you don't need to do this if you don't want so i'm going to minimize this and open up my distance traveled widget which i made previously and just add in another text block underneath this other text block which i made previously as well then straight away, I'm just gonna hit a bind on the text there and create binding. Doing this very, very simply, getting the character reference we once again made last time. And out of this, what I'm gonna do is get the distance traveled and then also get the distance required. So I'm getting both of these because I want to do it so the player knows how far they've traveled out of how far they need to travel. So you can do it differently as well. You can just have the required if you wanted, but I'm gonna do it this way. And again, I want the distance traveled to be in meters. So what I'm gonna do is divide by 100, like so. And then again, I'm gonna get a format text in the return value of this return node here. All of this should look very similar from the previous episode. So you should know what you're doing. So again, open brackets, distance one, let's call it, close brackets, space meters, space slash, space open brackets, distance two, close brackets, space meters, like so. Distance one and distance two obviously being our distance traveled and distance required, like so. So now that should work perfectly for us looking how we want it to look. So we can compile, save, and this should be the code done. So I can hit play and you can see now in the top left of our screen, we also have how far we've traveled out of how far we need to travel. And if I move around, they should all go up perfectly like so. And once we reach 100 meters, whatever you've set it as, you should see in the top left, it will say completed from the print string. And that 100 meters will also increase by 25% as that's the example I've used and set it as. So let's test that out now. It has just gone up by 25% to 125 meters and the print string of completed came up as well. And obviously we just reached the next one as well. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can now check to see how far we've traveled and check that against, let's say, a mission or whatever that we wanted. So we have to travel a certain distance and we can check to see if we have traveled that as well. So if you reach 3000 meters, something will happen or anything on those lines, for example, a steam achievement or something like that. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.